Hey guys, what up? Today we're going to actually be talking about the application for Google Voice on the iPhone. One of the many setbacks with the Apple iPhone is the fact that it does not have an application for Google Voice. The only way you can get it is if you jailbreak your phone. So today I'm going to talk about getting Google Voice on a non-jailbroken iPhone. The way you'd actually do this is through an application on the web. It works like the old school days before the app store is released. So all you do is you go to their website and it loads up there. So this is just going to compare the jailbroken version and the one available to everyone. So we'll see which one's better and you guys can make the decision whether you're going to download it or not. First we're going to go ahead and download the jailbroken version of this app. So we're going to go to Cydia and once Cydia fully loads up and updates all the packages, we're going to go over to the search tab on the bottom. Let's click that. Now let's search GV Mobile. That's the name of the application. Now that it's right there, we're going to click it. On the top right, we're going to click install. We're going to follow these little steps and wait for it to fully install. Now when it's finished, we're going to click close and go to our home screen. Now it should be there. If not, restart your phone and it will appear after you restart. Now if you want the official version of Google Voice, this is what I want you to do. I want you to open up Safari. Once Safari is open in the address bar, type in voice.google.com. Make sure the www is not there. All right. Now it loads up this page that asks you for your email and password. This is your Google email that your Voice account is tethered with and the password for that account. Click plus at the bottom, then click add to home screen. It's going to ask you to title it, and I'm going to title it Google Voice. Then click add, then it's added to your home screen. You get a cool little Google Voice icon. Then when you tap it, it should take you back to the same page as if it is an actual application. So now let's do a little side-by-side -side comparison real quickly. The left is the jailbroken one, the right is the non-jailbroken. I'll label them both so you guys can tell the difference. So let's start real quick by opening up both the applications. Now there's no competition there, the right one or the Safari one loaded a lot quicker than the jailbroken application. That's a little positive there. Now when you actually start typing on the jailbroken app, you'll get like a little sound, so you know you're tapping keys, which is kind of nice, but on the official one, the Safari one, there's no sound feedback. So now let's make a little test call here, because they work pretty differently on both phones. Let's start with the jailbroken phone, and it's going to start by calling us back with our Google Voice number. Now we're just going to tap answer, and it's going to start calling our other phone. And they are linked through Google Voice, which is nice. Now it's uncalling both. Now let's try a little test call on the official app or the Safari app. So you can start calling, but it works a lot differently. It's actually going to tell us to call a different number. When you click call, it's actually going to just go straight to the other person's phone without calling us back. This number just reroutes through Google servers, and it works kind of like a little midway point. So you can actually save the number as your contact under Google Voice whenever you call this number. It'll call through your Google Voice number without having to go somewhere else, which is really nice. You can just use your iPhone features. So let's click end call on both. Now as far as the rest of the phone, honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory. I didn't really see a point in covering things like SMS because most people just use the one built into the iPhone because it's kind of a waste of time going to another app. So that's just about it. So now that we've seen both the application for the iPhone on the web for non-jailbroken iPhones and the one for jailbroken iPhones, you can see a slight difference between them. The jailbroken one's a little bit better in my opinion at least. It seems to not have as many bugs. The other one, since it runs through the web, it's a little limited as far as what they can put in it. So either way, both options are viable. I still recommend the one for jailbroken phones, but if you're too scared to jailbreak it, I understand this is still an option. So, either way, I recommend you to go out and get Google Voice and use this application or the other one. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next video.